Hello everyone, in this video I am going to tell you in detail about the tool Bizarro. So here you can find Bizarro next to all the basic shape tools. So I will tell you how to use it from basic. And if you are new to my channel, please check out all the videos. So I have uploaded so many uh, digital art related videos and tools how to use different uh, tools and techniques all those things I uh, explained in my videos so also check the playlist if you are using any app in particular so yeah let's go back to the topic so here if you are using a normal brush this is how it looks just you start drawing in a layer and if you want to draw any particular shape, like um, if you want to draw uh, basic uh, shapes uh, using a random uh, hand drawing, it is not possible for this app to recognize that shape and create um, a perfect shape out of that. So that they have provided different shape tools here. So here you can find circle, rectangle, rounded rectangle, ellipse, all those tools for use for you to uh, use. And if you want multiple shape with uh, with uh, so many corners, then you can use that um, uh, tool. So and at uh, next to that, you can find a tool called bizarre curve. You may not uh, many of you may not know what tool is this and how to use that so here you can see if you long press you can see the uh, tool name is bizarre curve so basically if you want to draw any curved structure not a exact circle or ellipse or arch something like that any shape it can be but it should be uh, uh, if you want to create using the curve structure then you have to you can use this tool and the way you have to use this tool is just you cannot drag like a normal brush just touch wherever you want to create the shape here you can see this is called vertices so each, each vertex um, have some handle points and here there is an option to change it so if you change uh, you know touch this and it will become a normal vertex and if you touch again you will get the handle points uh, for you to adjust the shape adjust the curve accordingly based on some angle if you want it to be straight line curvy deep sharp anything anything can be done using this option you can just drag it length uh, you know long uh, and make big bends everything you can do everything with these handle points so there are many other options in the inside these uh, i will tell you in detail about how to use these vertices so basically if you just want to move this vertice point after creating those you can just keep this in this mode otherwise click on that option again so that you will get this angle uh, you know handle points you can move and create perfect shape that you want using these handle points so yeah that's about that first option inside this bizarre curve so using this hang uh, and next one is the tick when you click on this tick the anchor points vertices everything disappears which means so uh, everything you have created the perfect shape and then if you're okay with that shape then you have to click on that tick so that it will get saved and after uh, using that tick symbol you will no longer have that option to make changes so that's about the tick so after finishing everything you have to use this and here if you want to connect the starting and ending point then click on this make loop which means the two unconnected dots which is the starting point and this ending point can be connected uh, we cannot connect using that any other just touching on that vertex point we have to use this make loop option so if you want to connect these two starting and ending uh, vertices then click on the three dot and click on that make vertices and if you want to make it bigger or smaller then you can use the two fingers to make it bigger 
so here next comes the uh, delete vertices so if you don't want any vertices in uh, sh that shape then you can just click on that vertices and click on this delete vertices so whatever it may be it doesn't mean that it has to be the first vertices or the last one so anything in between it can be deleted easily so but we cannot add a new vertices inside the curve that we have already created so that's the point but if you want to delete one of it you can do it easily using this delete any you know vertices and next comes these handle points so when you touch on any vertices you can find these two blue color dots with lines so that's called handle modes here so normally uh, when it is in normal mode when you just created that curve and you have these uh, two blue dots it can be moved drag so what happens is that you can make one side lengthier one side short or you can drag make the curve better and you can see when i just move in any angle the a uh, curve become bigger it, it is bulging so that's a normal mode only one side at a time so normal mode this is how it look, uh, works just you can drag one side of it make it bigger make the curve or you can you can see on the other side it remains in the same size so the action only happens on one side so that's called the normal handle mode you can see if you want to move on the other side like if you want to drag it or make it shorter you can do otherwise it remains as it is so that's about this normal mode so you can um, move based on your requirement next comes the smooth which is at the top and in this mode when i drag on one side of that vertice you can see the bulging or shortening of that curve happens on both side which means it happens on both uh, points on both the blue points so if i click here and just change the mode to smooth you can see both side of this blue dot moves simultaneously so if i want to make it sharper like this you can see it happens simultaneously and you will get that symmetrical curve in this smooth option and next comes the angular angular means you can create any angle with this option here you can see when i click on this angular the other point doesn't move you can simply just move the one side of the curve into your vertical 90 degree one any angle it can be you can create a sharp edge corner uh, using this angular um, handle mode so if you can see i'm trying with the different dots different vertices whatever the point may be it may be at the start at the middle of that curve you can make it sharper you can see if you want to draw a perfect lips with these bendings you can do it easily using this angular um, handle mode so yeah that's about the three handle modes in the bezier curve and this is all about the entire tool so i hope you learned uh, how to use this so i will give you few examples for you to understand better after finishing everything click on that center tick to make it a normal brush a normal line and after clicking on that you cannot have that vertices again unless it is here vector layer so here i'm going to draw a small cup so if you have already seen my um, cupcake drawing you have you might have seen this but if you have not have not seen that video so it might be new for you so here i uh, using this vertic uh, what is point and i'm changing the mode to angular so that i can make some sharp angles using this points like this okay done now i want to have three arches at the top so to do that just make the vertices uh, vertices first 
and here too I want to connect so I'm using this make loop option and once done we can adjust the anchor points very easily so now I will show you just click on this vertice then adjust the point hang handle point then change the mode if you want then again I want to get a deep sharp um, edge here so I'm using angular here yeah we got that perfect arch in the same way click on this dip dipping point and change the mode to angular adjust this so you might feel very hard to use it at a at beginning point and you might have felt like if you have already used you might have felt like it's a time consuming process but if you want to get that perfect shape then this is that tool that you need so for a logo design or uh, vector art or even a normal art can become a perfect one with this tool so after using started using this tool you'll understand that so we got that shape and just the position everything then click on the stick okay now I'm going to draw one more shape here so I'm going to draw a heart so we know the basic shape of that heart now it looks weird so I want to connect these two points connected now I want a sharp um, one here so click on this angular change the angle of these handle points like this also here i'm not going to disturb other points so this is a cool tool that you all need to know and if you learn fully about these from me tell me in the comments below how helpful this tool is and also tell me in the comments below what you want to learn further from this app or any other app so yeah using this bizarre curve you can do a lot more than what you expect so if you combine that with the vector tool it will be more helpful for you and i have already created an artwork using these two tools like bizarre curve and vector tool so i have created this artwork completely with uh, these two tools so if you haven't checked out that uh, tutorial yet i will add the link in the description also at the top card so yeah thank you for watching bye